Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Cartier Love Bracelet with the Love Cup. Now, on YouTube, there are a million videos on the Love Bracelet and very few videos about the Love Cup and almost there are no videos comparing the Love Cup with the Love Bracelet. Now, because I happen to have both the pieces and I have used them for quite some time, so I figured I would do a video on this topic. And the whole purpose of this video is so that you are able to make an informed purchase and do not have any buyer's remorse. All right then, let's dive into the comparison. So I happen to have two love cups and one love bracelet and uh, all of them are in the original width. That being said, the love cup only comes in the original width. It does not come in the small slash the thin variation. Uh, and also for some reason, the love cuff seems to be underrated in the Lux community, at least uh, on YouTube. Um, for some reason, most people tend to gravitate towards the love bracelet, but um, the love cup does come with a lot of pros. But anyways, this video is not about the pros of the love cup over the love bracelet. It's a comparison video so that you can judge for yourself and make a decision for yourself which one suits you best and your lifestyle. Okay then, so let's start with packaging. So both of these pieces will come packaged exactly the same way. So it'll come in this box with all the wrapping, the red seal and everything. Inside this, you will get this box in which you will have your uh, cuff or bracelet. And then it'll have its authenticity card um, like so. And then also the travel pouch. Now the travel pouch in some stores, they give it at the time of purchase. Sometimes you have to ask for it. And also with the cleaning kit, I see some people get it, some people don't get it. I did not get a cleaning kit with all of my purchases. So that is something that you will have to check with the store. And also uh, sometimes they say that they run out of it. Who knows they run out of it or not. Now, the only difference uh, between these two pieces is the love bracelet. It will come with a screwdriver, obviously, because otherwise, your love bracelet will just be a showpiece and you will not be able to wear it. So that is the only difference. Other than that, no difference. Now, packaging is not one thing that uh, bothers me a lot. Uh, but yeah, to some, it might be a deal breaker. So I figured I will call that out. Next up, sizing. So with sizing, these two pieces, there's a little bit of a difference in the sizing. So the love cuff is, it runs a little bit smaller as compared to the love bracelet. So all of my pieces are in size 16, but if you see the love cuff, it fits me a little bit snug compared to the love bracelet. So definitely there is a tiny, tiny bit of a difference. But then again, I would not suggest that, oh, if you are a size 16 for the love bracelet, then you should go for size 17 for the love bracelet. So this is where you need to go to the store and try it for yourself to be able to see which one fits you best and in which size you will be the most comfortable. Now for me, uh, I could have gone for size 16 when it came to the love uh, bracelet, but I just chose to go for size 16. So that way I can layer all of these pieces together and uh, they don't get crammed up just in this area. You know, I can, I just have a little bit of a more wiggle room. Okay, moving on. Variety. So the love cuff comes in three different uh, color of gold so the it's available in yellow gold rose gold and white gold and it only comes in two variations so that is uh the plain that one with no diamond and the other one is with one diamond so the one with plain and the one with one diamond so these are the two options that you have whereas 
the love bracelet it comes in a lot more variety it definitely comes in those three different shades of uh, gold uh, the yellow gold rose gold and the white gold but above that it comes with like the plain version uh, you could choose uh, the four diamond variation or the ten diamond or you could go the top notch which is the pave diamond so definitely in this category it seems like the not seems like it's definitely the the love bracelet is the winner because you have so many different variations to choose from next up is the convenience to put it on and off so with the love cuff uh, it's a super convenient to put it on and off so in a day multiple times you can put it on and off uh, it's it's super simple and I will demonstrate that uh, a little later but first uh, for the comparison sake it's a super simple to take it on and off uh, versus uh, the love bracelet I mean you can totally take it on and off multiple times in the day the only problem is you will have to unscrew it to take it off and then screw it back on so the whole process of screwing it and then unscrewing it it's a little bit I don't want to use the word tedious or cumbersome but yes it is it's you have to make sure that you screwed it properly so that uh, it doesn't uh, just fall off <laughs> okay so with the love cuff you just have to take it out from the thinnest part of your wrist and it just comes off uh, and then you know if you are the type of a person who likes to uh, kind of accessorize your arm depending upon the outfit that you wear then probably uh, the love cuff is uh, the way to go next is availability for some reason or the other every time i went to the store and i'm not talking about any recent years so the love cups that i purchased i purchased it in 2014 2015 around the time frame so around the time frame i think the love bracelets were all the rage or i mean it's still all the rage and in fact these days it's more popular than back in the days uh, but at the time the availability of the love cuff was not as much uh, maybe because it it was not as popular not very many people bought it um, I'm not exactly sure how um, what is their availability status right now in the store but definitely you can purchase it from online uh, I have seen that they are available online so availability could be one of the other reasons like when you go to the store you definitely want to be able to try the love cuff and also the love bracelet so that you know it helps you make a decision sometimes you go to the store thinking that you want to make a purchase of a certain thing and then on the fly after seeing everything after trying on everything you might change your mind and that's totally fine I do that all the time <laughs> okay moving on better value for money so if you ask me which one is a better value for money i would straight up say that the love cuff is better value for money and i will tell you why first up it's uh, two thousand dollars cheaper than the love bracelet second uh the convenience factor you know you can put it on and put it off uh, at your own convenience whenever you feel like um, and thirdly uh, it will not get banged up just as much as the love for bracelet just because you're not uh, sort of wearing it or you're not kind of confined to wearing it or you know you don't have to commit yourself to wearing it at all times so it's 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 going to be much less like scratches and stuff like that on the love cuff versus uh, on the love bracelet and I will give you a little bit of uh, close-ups so that you can see for yourself the difference between the love bracelet and the love cuff now as I mentioned the love cuffs I bought in 2015 both of the pieces I have the one in yellow gold and this one is in white gold with uh, one diamond versus the love bracelet is a fairly new addition to my collection I bought it 
just because there were all these rumors of uh, uh, prices going up and by the time I bit the bullet last year the prices went up uh, but then I thought you know I'll just go ahead and get it so I have it but I don't wear it just as much as I like to wear my cuff and also I mean I don't wear any of these uh, jewelry pieces at home at all times so with the love cuff every time i'm going out and about uh, i will put it on but with the love bracelet like i said it's sort of a commitment that you have to make with the bracelet and also embrace the fact that it's going to be there <laughs> on your arm at all times okay so for me uh, best value for money is the cuff moving on wear and tear I think I already touched upon that uh, on this uh, best value for money topic, but still wear and tear definitely uh, the love cuff will have less wear and tear as compared to the love bracelet just because you have this flexibility of taking it on and off whenever you desire, you know. Okay, next, new versus pre-loved. Now this is, you know, I always go through this thought process of whenever I'm making like a big purchase, should I go and get the new thing from the boutique versus should I go get a pre-loved piece? And when I did my research on this particular item, I did not do my research when I was getting my love cuff because at the time I was kind of new to the luxury world and I didn't know much about the pre-loved market and I was kind of hesitant going the pre-loved route. But now that, uh, you know, I have done a lot of research and things are kind of more widely known, uh, I am not afraid uh, getting pieces from the pre-loved market if I happen to get a good deal. Now, with my research, what I found out is uh, if you're going for the love bracelet, uh, or the cuff you aren't saving a lot it's just the tax uh, difference kind of a thing that you would be saving if you are planning to buy it pre-loved from those big uh, pre-loved uh, stores or websites like fashion file real real yogi's closet and stuff like that because you know whatever price tag they put there you will have to add taxes to that uh whatever taxes that your state um, has uh versus if you happen to get something from facebook group or something maybe maybe that is uh, something that you can weigh in you can see if you are making a uh, substantial saving next up online versus boutique now now this is a very interesting topic and i have experience with both of these so the first piece that i bought uh this uh, love uh, cuff i bought it from the boutique and it was a very rushed experience that they were about to close uh, the store so i did i wasn't able to get the full experience of champagne and the seal and everything so i just got my item paid and bam, boom 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 i was out of the store uh hmm. So that was not a very good experience for me. Uh, and then for the Love Cuff, this second piece I ordered it online. And you know, online it's pretty simple. You just uh, click a button and then the thing arrives at your doorstep. <laughs> um, so there was no experience at all. You're just sitting at home, the thing arrives and uh, you can wear it. You can unbox it, wear it take pictures if you want uh, so yeah so that is the difference um, similarly uh, when I bought this one from the store it was there were too many people in the store frankly speaking and uh, I still did not get champagne or anything so it was just uh, like a normal shopping experience uh, it was nothing super luxe or anything um, and this could be uh, based on the boutique that I made my purchases uh, from the Short Hills Mall. I'm not sure how the experience would be if you go to a different store. You know, 
people, the store, the sales uh, advisors, the experience will differ. Uh, but nonetheless, um, besides the experience, uh, I don't think you will be missing out on anything if you happen to or if you do decide to go the uh, e-commerce route. Um, yeah, but uh, it's nice to go to the store, um, being offered champagne and stuff like that, you know, having to uh, try out all those different things. So definitely if this is your first time purchase, I would say go to the store so that you are able to try out all different pieces uh, and then make, uh, make a, a decision on which one you like the most. All right, guys, so this is it for this video. If you happen to have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments box and I will be sure to get back to you. And I will see you in my next one. Bye now.